going on everybody it's the super robot ed and this is the last review i'm doing for the night man i'm doing a marathon of reviews because i've been behind on toy reviews and today we got part two or part two of the two pack earthrise iron hide and here he is in vehicle mode i ah i love this <laughs> yay i love this man not the greatest but they did a good job of giving you the cherry vanette uh kudos to hasbro man kudos to hasbro and boy he rolls yeah the parts don't fit in 100 percent but he rolls the underside is clean the feet stick out on the back i really wish they did something with the feet on that man they could have did a little something something for us but man oh man they did a good job. And, you know, a lot of this is the Siege mold. I mean, even the front, it's the chair with the big Autobot symbol here in front of your face to let you know he is Earthrise Ironhide, man. Oh, I've been wanting to get this. Oh, I've been wanting to get this. And I am just stoked. This is, this is actually one I had, but he wasn't complete. Now, you guys know that the original Iron High, you know, y'all know the story. Check out the vehicle, man. It rolls. It rolls. It's got this little nice black gun on the top. You know, it's pretty neat. But I don't like the fact that he lo missed, uh, lost the rocket launcher, man. That would have been cool for him to have that weapon. But for a quick comparison, we have Siege. I really dig Siege Ironhide. And... When I made my live stream kind of open letter to Hasbro, I was like, look, if I can't get this, I am definitely more than okay with having this as my, uh, you know, standing if I didn't get him. I know the look is still more Cybertronian, but I do enjoy this toy, even though it's simple and there's a lot of parts uh, exposed here. I still like the way this looks. Like, I always dig this. I, you know, that, that front, and, you know, the gun, that big giant gun. Like, he's just coming in, you know. I always dig that. But how they did this to this is amazing. Like, I don't think it would fit because there's a peg that would go in here. So, you can't really kind of make the, you know, fake you know, you can't do it. It's just not gonna work. But I've always liked this. I love this. It's very Cybertronian. You know, he it almost reminds me of like kind of War Within. But these guys are just stellar, both of them. I prefer the red on him than I do this kind of Pepto-Bismol type red. It's not kind of a pinkish color red. Um, but I still think this is much a much better even the tires on here are a little better you know but other than that i'm gonna do some quick comparisons and then we'll get into transformation okay not much to compare it to so it's gonna be some weird comparisons but we're gonna start off with sunstreaker as i still had him in robot mode i mean car mode and he's a big guy when you put this thing on him and that's i don't have prime I don't really feel like transforming Prime. just don't feel like doing that. Because I'm going to use Prime later on in the video. But he does kind of sit a little bigger than Prime. It's kind of weird. But if you've seen other people's videos, you know he's technically Prime's bodyguard. And, you know, if you want to compare him to somebody who in the future is going to be fighting him on my Decepticon side, here is Transformers Prime or AM12 War Breakdown in vehicle mode. This is going to be in a giveaway when we hit 500. So keep your eyes, ears glued, ready. Uh, like I said, this is the one with the broken head, but I glued it back on. It transforms. Just if you move the head, you're done. So if you win this, you get to have the unimplied stickers and the extra weapon. Hey, be on the lookout for it. Be my first giveaway uh, that I'm doing. You know, and it's, we'll discuss plans on that. But yeah. You know, like, I could see these two going at it, you know, like, that That would be cool. And just for another quick size comparison, squealy, wheelie, there they go. So, yeah, 
Yeah, he looks pretty good. I mean, he's great, fantastic, just awesome. You know, there's there's nothing else to be said. Well, let's move these out the way and let's go. So we're gonna go the transformation. We're not gonna waste time. We got it. We gotta move. We gotta move everybody. So I'm gonna take off this gun. He does have the same issue with uh, the leg parts because they're still similar to the uh, Siege version. So, uh, first things first, if I remember, uh, where did I do this? Oh yeah, we gotta lift this back first and lift this up. And that kind of, see what I'm talking about? That comes off right there, I hate that. And then you wanna fold that back and then lift that up. You lift that up. It's the same thing on the other side. You wanna fold this back first. And again, they're very loose. I'm gonna have to fix this. But they do peg in place, so you know, just be careful with that. This is gonna be a part that everybody's gonna need in the future. So <laughs> fixes galore. Then you fold that up. Why you wanna do that? Because that's gonna let you unpeg the you know, this. And this is the, you know. The kind of like a mechanism. Now, some people are saying, they, you know, they've been making it if you had the original G1 Ironhide. And that slides up to give you those, you know, cannons and things. So you can kind of make like the little sled and and actually put the, let's see, yeah, you can kind of, you know. And it really is kind of cool with Ratchet because Ratchet actually, you know, did that in the first episode when he transformed. You can make the little sled thing. So we're going to set this to the side and we're going to move on. So now we're going to separate the feet. And like I said, this part oh, is this, Hasbro, man. You got to get it together with this stuff, man. Come on. And, you know, we're going to unfold the arms like that. And uh, we're going to fold these back again. Hasbro, please, please fix this, man. Please. That's, that's unacceptable, man, Hasbro. It's unacceptable. I shouldn't be doing that really should not be doing that you know gotta fix that later on then after that uh, what you want to do is where's that part at no I'm missing something I'm missing something I am Ah, uh, there it is. Fold that down. And then after that, you just squeal that up. And it is kind of loose, you know. Kind of notice that. But you kind of push everything back in place. And it'll, you know, go back into place. And, you know, voila. Peg all that in. Here, all that nice. So they peg right here you see those little tabs right there and they tab into there and you can do a different if you want to do it like that you know you know you can do that but yeah you know, I just want everything to fit and there he is man there he is and you just put the gun right there and boy look at him he does look like Ironhide man my goodness look at that Look at that. That's just amazing. And what you want to do with these parts, you just kind of fold everything in. And like I said, this sliding mechanism is what gives him the, you know, when in cherry bayonet mode, it should be up here. In robot mode, it should be out here. You can put it on his back, but it looks kind of weird. You can put it on his arm like a shield, which is what a lot of people do. Give him that, you know, cannon look if you want. Well, if you don't want to use them as a cannon, just find a place where you don't lose them. And then you can just st stick them to the side. Some people put them on the back. But the problem with that is, you know, he looks kind of weird. But, you know, he still stands up. And I'll be right back. I'm going to bring in uh, Siege on Hyde and a few other people for comparison. Give me one moment. Pause for the cause. Sneaky, sneaky, we're back. Let's go over articulation real quick. You want to take this off because this is going to hinder a lot of articulation. Arm does the 360. Arm goes out to here. A little extra, you know, room. He's got a 
bicep. He's got waist swivel, a little tight on the waist swivel. Head doesn't move up and down, but the head is very nice iron hide, you know, sculpt. Um, the legs can do that. They bend and they bend back like that. So you can do the, you know, kicking and the stomping. He's got the feet articulation, everything that you want with your figure. And he's Ironhide, man. He's Ironhide. You know, I love, I, I like this too. I like this thing too. But we're going to put it aside for a second because, you know, we got to do the whole making parts disappear when you transform. And the thing is, they do a good job. It's simple, but they do a good job. Like, and it has that throwback to the original G1 Ironhide but more compact, you know, you can still transform. He would be more on the siege side of things. So let's do some comparisons with stuff that's available. Whew, man, it's almost one o'clock in the morning, y'all. There's a uh, prowl, because I had him nearby. Um, who else do we have nearby? That can kind of hang out for a little bit. Got Decepticon here. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Runabout. You know, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, man. I hate that he dies, man. He just needs an Autobot symbol there. And I'm sure Repo Labels will give us that. And then the compare him to his favorite person. I remember the time. Save it, Hotshot. There's more to being a hero. Than being a memory. Aha, G1, man. Y'all should know it. He's the bodyguard to Optimus Prime. And being that Ironhide was one of the biggest Transformers next to, like, uh, Trailbreaker that kind of stood almost the same height as Optimus Prime, their height scaling is perfect. They look very good together. I love this, man. Look at that side by side. You know. <laughs> Ah, they look good together, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know what I'm saying? And now we'll do a uh, comparison to his uh, Siege version. And uh, then we'll get to the final, final thoughts. It won't take long, man. I tell you, I got to work, man. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to be able to edit till, till I get home tomorrow. So I'll just dump these videos on the computer for now and do the rendering tomorrow. And here they are side by side. And I've got to say that the only thing, I would not swap out anything on these. It's like they do, their differences are still good. This is to me War Within uh, Ironhide, always going to be War Within. This is one of the better Siege sculpts that to me, if you couldn't get him and you had him, I don't, I wouldn't fret, you know. Yes, once you get him in hand, you're going to be like, boy, he looked like, you know, you know, he, he looks really good. Almost, to me, better than the Masterpiece. But the colors are, I don't like the color. still don't like the color on him. I wish he had that more, his color. But the differences, you know, they did, like I said, this is black instead of gray. And the sculpting is the same. The legs are almost the same, but not the... The feet are the same, are they? Yeah, they're about the same, but the legs, the paneling is different. Um, the arms are slightly different. There's some panel lining on the shoulders. Uh, the fists are painted black while the fists are gray on him. Um, that's about the only thing. If he had, like, the black accents, this guy would just be, or you're good with painting. When he doesn't look like you're a six-year-old painting this, you can make him look like him and you don't need to do anything else. You can paint this crotch black, and I'm telling you, you really don't need him. It's just a look. It's That's what sucks, you know what I'm saying? Like, compared to Siege, Prowl, and Siege, you know, I mean, Siege, Prowl, and uh, Earthrise, Prowl, where Siege, Prowl is just, ugh, you know, and Earthrise is better. This one always stood up to me. He sat on my shelf with my Prime. Um, the head sculpts are different. That was one of the things that people pointed out. He, that's about his, he's got a weird head compared to him. He's, his, his head is way more anime accurate 
you know, with that helmet look. Uh, the chest, of course, is different, way different, you know. And just to lift it up, you see from the back, he's got like the, you know, headlights of the, you know. I mean, they really did a good job of really retooling him to match that G1 aesthetic. They really did. But I, I don't know, man. This is tough to, you know, this is really tough. This is really tough, man. I, I kind of, <laughs> I still kind of like him too. Uh, and of course, the hands, uh, they do, you know, turn, which you can do the, you know, oh, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can do that. Um, he just doesn't have that, you know, that weapon that comes out of his back. Actually, uh, Ratchet, the Siege Ratchet has that. So, you know, either way, though, you're not going to, is they're both good. These these are one of those where it's either or. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but this is about him today. I also needed to do him too because I never did a review of him. So, you know, say goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Final thoughts on what we got here. Um, well... Let's just put it in layman's terms. This is the iron hide that we wanted as a kid. You know, the iron hide that is the look, the iconic look of the G1 character. Everything they did to do it is fantastic. I just, you know, need an Autobot symbol there. Other than that, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Um, definitely worth the money. Definitely worth, you know, the scratch. To get him. Uh, you move my hands out the way. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it, 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 it does its job, you know. Um, you know, there are some issues in the factory that they need to work out. And they're not going to work it out because apparently it carried over to this version of the toy. And I think that this is going to be a problem and having to fix it is kind of, it's getting old, Asbro. Test these before you send them out, you know. Um, but other than that, it's it's great. Like I can't stop looking at him. Like man, he just he just looks like Ironhide from when I was a kid. And that's 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 it. You know, that's all you need. Um, again, this set is hard to get now, so be careful. You know, don't lose any parts. You know, try to keep them away from falling off the shelf. If you can, or, you know, having people touch him, you know, I would put him behind something so he doesn't lose those pieces and try to fix them. Um, you know, but other than that, besides all that, he's great. He's great. I've done one, two, three, four reviews in a row. And it's taken me about two and a half hours to get everything situated. It's now 1.04 a.m., Brother Man has not been getting a lot of sleep, so I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, these videos will be out on tomorrow. Um, I just want to say thank you for helping me to reach 495. The road to 500 seems to be in reach. Uh, looks like uh, JJ Prime Reviews has probably already hit 500 as we're talking. I haven't really, you know, looked around, but I think he is, so... Shots out to him, too. You know, we'll finally be hitting the 500 club. Congratulations to everyone that's at 500. Um, I got to do something special. Probably be uh, something, you know, that I have needed to review. And that's that. And I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Again, my name is Super Robot Ed. I thank you very much for joining me on my quest to be a YouTuber. And uh, we're going to keep doing this. If you be liking what I'm putting down, hey. Please like, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend, you know, no hate. Just come on in, man. I, I got you, man. I got you. All right, everybody. Have a nice night. Have a nice day. Let's make it to the new year. Peace.